Hey everyone, this is Brian Marino with Apex Software. And in this video, I'm gonna go over creating a basement using the first floor as a template to create it. And in this basement, I'm gonna create a finished and an unfinished area, and I'm gonna have the finished area of the basement included in the gross living area. Before I get started, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. If you know anyone who would be interested in this, feel free to like, share, and or subscribe so you don't miss out on any updates. But with all that out the way, let's go ahead and get into drawing this basement. So to get started, I already drew the first floor, the garage, and the porch. So we have a basement directly under the first floor that's roughly the same shape. So we're going to go ahead and draw it right on top of the first floor, and I'll show you how to get that finished area included in your gross living area. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into draw area here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna draw right over the first floor and I'm gonna carve out the finished versus the unfinished pieces of the basement. So let's say this from this all the way up on the left, all of that is finished. And then this little piece over here is unfinished. And let's say this bump out is not even included in the basement. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and carve this out so that it won't be included when I define it. And then I'm gonna draw a line straight up to carve out where the finished and unfinished pieces are split. Next step, I'm gonna come over here to define. And for the finished part, I'm gonna go ahead and call it first floor because we're gonna rename this the basement and this is how we're gonna get it to include in the gross living area. I'm gonna go ahead and select it, click apply, and now that area is defined. So for my unfinished part, I'm gonna select over here and I'm gonna come down to basement and I'm gonna call this one unfinished and then apply that. All right, so we have both areas drawn and defined. So the next step is come to your pointer arrow and we're gonna click inside finished part and we're gonna hold control and click inside the unfinished. And then I'm just gonna click and drag both of them off to the side at the same time and center and fit. Okay, so we have unfinished. We need to change this name from first floor to finished basement. So I'm gonna just select the word first floor, come up top here, and call that finished basement. So we have it all drawn out. If we wanna get all of our dimensions back, we can select the area, hold control, press F10, get them all to show back up on the outside. Same thing here. And now we have a finished and an unfinished basement. Now if we check our calculations, I'm gonna to go to the calculation tab and if you look here, so we have the 2930.5 and then the finished is 1816. If we look down here, it's totaling it up. So we have our first floor, our finished basement are both included in GLA, and then our unfinished is not included in the GLA. So if you run into a scenario like this, this is how you can create it. Just draw it directly on top of the first floor, cut out the pieces that aren't included, and then define them both and move them off to the side and then rename that first floor to finished basement. I hope everyone found this helpful. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Feel free to like, share, and or subscribe. Otherwise, I will catch y'all on the next one.